leadership and commitment. After agreeing to implement an information security management system and defining the scope where to implement it, we have to start the actual implementation. And we have to start from the top, from the top management. This requirement asks that the top management of the organization demonstrates leadership and commitment with respect to the information security management system. Management support, this is what uh, this requirement is about. And management support is vital for any kind of um, management system, information security included, of course. And it has to be real and it has to be visible. Now, how can management demonstrate that it is committed to this uh, ISMS? Well, the standard uh, requires a few elements. And here they are. Top management needs to ensure that uh, policy, information security policy and information security objectives are established and that they are in line with the strategic direction of the organization. We will discuss about those two elements in the next lessons. Then, uh, top management needs to ensure that the information security is integrated with the business processes. It shall not be a parallel thing to day-to-day -day operations, to day-to-day -day business, but it has to be integrated and top management has to drive this integration. Then to implement such a system, you need some resources. You need people, you need technology, you need money, and all of those have to come from the top management, of course. Then top management has to communicate inside the organization on the importance of information security to make people understand what it is about this information security issue and to make them aware of uh, information security matters. It also has to monitor this uh, information security management system to see whether it uh, provides what uh, the organization needs from it. Is it good enough? Can it be improved? Is it getting us what we aimed for when we started this uh, implementation? It, uh, top management shall also provide an example inside the organization to act as a role model to the uh, staff on terms of information security. And last but not least, top management should, should support others in demonstrating their own leadership in their area of responsibility inside the organization. I talk here about middle management. Now, what is top management? It's different from one organization to the other. Uh, it can be a general manager, it can be a CEO, a board of directors. Uh, if we speak about implementation in only a part of an organization, top management are the persons or the person who is uh, directing that specific part of the organization where the system is being implemented. Those are some requirements of ISO 27001 on how management demonstrates leadership and commitment, but there can be others. Important thing is that management is involved with this system, it supports it, and the support is uh, visible and real. Information security policy. As I said in the previous lesson, as part of its commitment for information security, top management has to ensure that a policy an information security policy is established inside the organization. This is a general document. It has to set the general approach of the company, of the organization with regards to information security, and it has to have the approval of the top management. There are a few requirements of ISO 27001 when it comes to this policy. It shall be appropriate to the purpose of the organization. It um, 
shall either include uh, information security objectives or provide a framework for setting those objectives. It shall include a commitment to uh, satisfy applicable security requirements. Here we speak about legislation for, uh, with regards to information security or customer requirements or business requirements. And it shall include also a commitment for the continual improvement of the information security management system. Other elements uh, required by the standard with regards to this policy it has to be documented, it has to be written, it has to be communicated inside the organization so people are made aware of the organization approach on information security and it has to be available to interested parties. Here uh, it can be placed on the website of the organization or it can be provided uh, upon request to any interested party is the choice of the company how it makes it available to interested parties. We will come back to the topic of uh, information security policy in the second part of the course because we have a control that refers exactly to uh, security policy. But what I need to clarify is that this information security policy is a top level general document and it has to be supported by other specific policies on specific aspects. Uh, in fact, the controls in the Annex A required 15 uh, specific policies, but the organization is free to develop any other security policies if it considers necessary. As I said, we will come back and we will discuss about uh, the lower level policies that support this information security policy. As part of its commitment for information security, top management needs to ensure that uh, responsibilities and authorities, relevant of course to information security matters, are assigned and they are communicated to the staff. Generally, top management uh, has to require all staff to comply to information security procedures and regulations. But we will come back to this topic in the second part of the course because we have a control which is specifically aimed at roles, responsibilities and authorities. What I want to add here is that uh, top management has to nominate a person or a structure that will have the overall uh, responsibility for the functioning of the information security management system. Uh, what is the overall responsibility about? Well, this person or this structure has to ensure that the system conforms to the requirement of this standard 27001 and it also has to report back to top management about the performance of the information security management system, about how it is working. There has to be a document nominating, appointing this person or this structure. It may be a decision of the top management, it may be a job description, a contract, a regulation, a procedure, any sort of document, but it has to be an official appointment. And of course, besides this general responsibility for the overall function of the system, this person or this structure can have other information security related tasks like participating in information security audits or uh, investigating incidents or um, enforcing the application of some controls or participating in risk assessments. It, uh, it is up to the top management to decide what other tasks can be added to this uh, person or structure. 